All right, guys, just doing a uh, 2016 wrap-up video. Uh, here's all my top finds from 2016. I didn't do too bad in the bottle department. Um, Relic-wise, I got a bunch of relics, but these are just my top relics that I absolutely love. Some Civil War and Indian War era relics here. Um, we'll start here with the shoulder epaulette. Uh, I loved it. I did find the pieces that go down at the spines, and I didn't know what it was at the time, so I don't know where I put them, so I'm a little uh, upset that I lost those pieces. Um, I got this buckle here. Uh, the reason why I kept it is because on it it says patented in 1855, so I know it's not when it was made, but I love stuff with patent dates on it. Um, one of my top finds, and still I don't really know how to identify it, no one really could for me, um, is the snake suspender buckle, I believe it is. And uh, on it, it says, Our Brothers and Company. So, if you guys know anything about this, let me know. Um, super neat find. Um, of course, I only got... Uh, out of the bottle dump I'm in, I got four Eagle service buttons here. I'm pretty sure these are Indian Wars, and I believe this is a Civil War era one. One I found just the other day. And then a tiny little cuff button, I believe it is. So that's how you know I'm in a pretty good bottle dump there. Um, with a couple glass buttons as well that came out of that dump. Actually, uh, everything on this table is coming out of that dump, so I've spent a lot of time there. I um, also got this green glass button. Never seen anything like it, but again, it came out of that dump, still has a shank on it, so that's pretty neat too. Uh, J-hook. That's actually my first J-hook I ever found. Um, this lantern piece, which came out beautifully. I mean, everything, you could still use this thing. Um, one of my favorite finds here and on this as well patented December 1863 so that's super neat that still spins that's actually really one of my favorite ones too um, just identified this it came out of a powder flask so that's a powder flask spout so that's pretty neat uh, one of these, these were experimental bullets. Um, they were made from 1865 to about 1869. So about four years they experimented. The Army experimented with these. Um, I believe they're 5070 is what they are. Uh, don't quote me on that. I used to know. I forgot. But this is a fully intact one. Uh, it would have been rim fired, I believe. But that, that, those are pretty neat. Pretty rare, too. I mean, they only four years of making them. The really rare one had U.S. stamped on the bottom of them. So that would have been a neat one to find. Uh, a few more bot or buttons and odds and ends. Another one of my favorite ones is this Bone Dice. Really one of my favorite pieces, too. Um, that's really neat. Um, a little ornate button that came out of that dump. It looks Indian to me, or Indian made, or, or something, but I believe it's a button, but that's pretty neat. Also, the spoon, and you know, I find a lot of spoons, but this one coming out of a, an army dump really intrigued me, and also on here, I don't know if you guys can see, this one was patented in 1852, <clears throat> so you really don't find them whole like this much. Well, I don't at least. So that's a pretty neat one. And then on to the bottles, which I feel like I did pretty good this year. My favorite bottle for sure is this pepper sauce. Uh, this thing came out pristine. I mean, it is beautiful. Super crude around the lip. I, I'm going to put this one about 1860s. So real nice bottle here. Um... I believe this is an olive oil bottle here. Uh, I'm not too sure on the date. I, th I believe it's early 1900s, but real nice lip on there. Real pretty color. I kept it. So, 
Um, then I got this wine bottle. Uh, I didn't make a video of this one. I was there for like 20 minutes for lunch. <laughs> but a uh, nice little neat wine bottle. Pretty crude lip here. Uh, I got all this sickly stuff all over this bottle. I, I can't get that off, but I like it. It's a good patina to it. Um, some slicks. And then two of my fav other favorites. I know I have a lot of favorites, but um, this one here is Fallon and Sons Perfumers, New York. I love this bottle. I believe it to be mid-1860s as well. And then one that T-Lac found and gave to me is a Colgate and Company Perfumers, New York. Nice bottle. Nice crude lip as well. Um, started off as perfumers and then they went to the Colgate toothpaste company so that's a really cool find here again probably late 1860s on this one so that's a pretty neat find I also found this real tiny bottle I uh, can't find too much on it uh, I believe it could be a playset but again I'm not sure at all maybe a little hot sauce bottle but if you guys know go ahead and let me know in the comments but um this bottle here the Genuine Essence, you guys seen me dig this one the other day. Uh, it's probably one of my earliest bottles I found at the stump hole, but really like it. Uh, ginger beer. It's my first ginger beer from probably the 1870s that I found. Um, and then a Dr. Price's Special Flavoring Extracts. It's an 1865 bottle here. I believe it to be... An improved panel. I'm, don't quote me on that here, but it's very crude on the bottom and it's broken off right here. Um, it's not broke the bottle, but it's broken off here. And I, I did see these bottles did come in improved panels. Um, it's 1860s because uh, Dr. Prices it wasn't labeled like that in the 1870s and 1880s, so it was labeled Dr. Prices. So that's a pretty neat little vanilla extract bottle. And then my these last two, the rarest of all bottles that I found were the Dr. Pepper Thief bottles. Um, I absolutely love these bottles. Um, I actually did find quite a bit of them, about eight of them, and I've made about a thousand dollars off them uh, selling them because I have so many doubles. I still do, and I I never sell anything. But when you find eight of them and they're worth three, four hundred bucks a piece then you know you gotta sell them and this is the really really rare one the Monterey Dr. Pepper Thief bottle here um, again this is definitely one of my favorites so didn't do too bad in the bottle department um, my other relics here you know yeah they're still important but I threw them in there I don't I don't mind them still good relics but I, I believe those to be my top relics so um, hopefully we'll have better luck this year too, 2017 guys.